Do you want to be able to create a blog just like this one? Then keep watching this video as I'll show you all of the steps of how to create a blog on Wix, how to get started, how to set up everything. And by the end of this video, you should have your very own blog up and running. So with that being said, let's just jump into today's tutorial and hopefully you guys do enjoy. Okay, so hopefully you got your tea or your coffee ready as we'll dive right into today's tutorial. And I'll try to keep this as fast as possible, but at the same time, I want to make sure that I'm explaining everything as clear as possible. But with that being said, the first thing you want to do is make sure you head over to the top link in the video description. If you do use that link, I do get some commission when you sign up through my link. So I do appreciate it if you use it, but otherwise you can sign up however you want to. Uh, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just a nice way to support me. So thank you very much. Uh, but with that being said, uh, this is what you'll see when you land on a page. So create your own professional blog. What you'll do is just click on start now. And once you click on start now, you will create an account on Wix. You don't need my help for that. You just fill out the form. But then eventually after that step will be on the same step. If you already have an account on Wix, what you want to do is make sure you head over to your Wix dashboard and then just click on create a new site. So this page right here is will this is what you'll see once you created your account as well. So this is now we're all on the same page here. So now there is the Wix Studio, which is going to be a new way for agencies and freelancers. We're going to skip this. So we're just going to go to Wix editor straight away. OK, so what kind of website are we creating? We are creating a blog. So I'll just create blog. We'll go to next step here. And then what would you like to call your website? Now, just put the name of your website. You can change this at any time so you don't have to worry. Uh, but I'll just call this Gustav SEO blog. You can go next. Now they're asking what do you want to add to your website so we can add some additional functionalities to our site. In general, a chat function is not that common to have on a, on a, on a blog. And if you have a lot of visitors to your blog, it's just going to be annoying to have to reply to each individual one. But if you want to have a chat, you can have it. Uh, I'm going to remove that uh, Instagram feed. Yeah, that could be great to have on our, on our blog uh, forums. We're not going to have that right now, so I'll leave it here. Uh, but yeah, you have all these functionalities that you can add to your site. But if you don't add them now, you can always add them later. So you don't have to really worry uh, about picking stuff here. You can always add to your site. Uh, but blog is what we want an Instagram feed. So when I'm done with that, I'm just going to go next again. Cool. So start setting up your website. Now we can begin with a template or we can create a custom built site. Now we want to go with a template because creating a custom site from scratch is going to be fairly complicated, especially if you're just starting out. So let's go with a template. Now we have all the blog templates right here. Uh, we also have some additional categories if we want to find something specific. Um, I want to create something about social media so let's see what we have right here i think i like this one so i'm just gonna click on a view right here and then we can get a preview on how this or this uh, blog is gonna look like so this is gonna be our blog posts then about ourselves and then we have uh, follow me elsewhere so this is just gonna be uh, the instagram feed which is pretty nice Shop my look. So if you have sponsors, you can kind of add it here. And then at the bottom, we have a footer. Um, I think this this template looks good. Uh, but if you're not happy with this template, you can go with another one. You can just have a look and then find the one that suits you the best. Uh, but I'm going to go back here and I'm going to pick this template. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on edit this site in the corner. Now we have loaded up the Wix editor. So this is where you'll be making all of your changes to your blog. So everything will be from this uh, designer right here. So I'll kind of give you a brief description of what everything is. So you can add elements up here. You can add a section to your website. You can see all your all of your pages and your your menu of the website right here. Overall site design. So you can kind of change the color once and it will affect everything on the website. You can add apps similar to the app store in your phone. You can add more functionalities made by third party developers. So different companies can publish their apps here. So if you want something special, you can try looking in here. My business is going to be general business settings, media, the images you have uploaded or the free images that you have on Wix and CMS is just going to be general CMS settings, which is going to be fairly complicated, I would say, uh, to get started. But this is something we can dive into in a, in a follow up video after this one. Finally, you also have the option to switch between your desktop editor and your mobile editor. So you can kind of see how your website looks on mobile and you can also make changes on mobile as well. 
So this is how our site currently looks on mobile. I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna keep it this way. And now it looks very zoomed out, but if we go up here in the corner and zoom in, this will give you a better idea of how it will actually look like once you are on mobile. Going back to desktop again, this is where in the editor you can make all the changes. Now, if you watched one of my tutorials before, it is very straightforward to edit things in Wix. All you have to do is click on a certain element, let's say the title up here. And if I click on it, I can see edit text. I can change the animation of it. I can create an AI text. So this is obviously generated through ChatGPT. Uh, but yeah, if I wanna edit this text, I can just click on edit text. I can change this so it can be Gustav SEO. I can change the fonts here if I want to. I can make it bold, I can make it italic, size wise, color, everything right here. I have the option to make those changes. Same thing goes for this. I would call this a, a element right here. There's gonna be sort of a blog element. So if I wanna change this blog element, I can just go here, click on either manage post or settings. I'm gonna click on settings here. In the settings, you'll be able to change things like the layout over here. So we can see that we have display. So we can display, let's see, image or badge. We can do reading time. So that will estimate how long it will take to read each post. Uh, so you can kind of add some, some uh, specific, specific things or remove things that you don't want to show on your specific blog. Then going to layout, we can change how this looks like. So if you want to do it side by side, we can do it like this, editorial, tiled one column full post this is going to make this page really really long as all the posts it will be like a full post here and then the uh, next one will just follow below it then we have magazine here as well i kind of like this one but um to be honest i think i'll keep the first one that we had which is the editorial one we are going to scroll down a little bit so we have the image ratio so we can either do it standing or just a, a one by one four by three 16 by nine 1916. This obviously gonna look better for like mobile options, but it's really up to you here uh, what you think looks the best. Moving along, we have text alignment, so you can kind of change things around. And as you can see, we have a lot more details here that we can go in and change, but we're not gonna go that deep into each individual settings in Wix, because as you can see, it's very straightforward on how you can manage and edit the overall design of your blog. So going back to the final one here, which is gonna be design, in here, you can change the blog menu, so you can kind of change the um, the font here and the colors. Posts, same thing here, buttons and stuff. You can go ahead and just change whatever you want to change in here. And then finally, we have the post page. So if we go to post page here, so this is how our post will look like right here. We can see that the post is currently loading in, so we'll see eventually. Uh, but basically what we have is that over here, the blog content will be here, so your blog post. And then of the side of every blog post, you will have the same design. So this is very similar to all other blogs you'll see online. So over here, you can make customizations to the side element. And this will obviously look the same across all your blog posts, not just one blog post. So this is very easy to manage as you only need to change it once and then it will affect all your other blog posts. Um, so that is super important to remember because otherwise you would have to go into each blog post individually and then change the sidebar. Uh, but in this case, we have it already, so which is good. So we can make changes over here. We can change the form if you don't want to capture, if you don't want to capture people's email, I do recommend you to capture people's emails as that's another way to keep people engaged in your website and in your blog. You can send them emails when you post a new blog post or any other updates that you have. That kind of makes sure that you have their data and you can reach out to them again and make sure they are engaged. Now, going down again, we have Instagram feed. Now, if we want to change this to our Instagram, we would just go to the settings here and then we'll pull this up. And then we have the main here so we can connect it to a business account or we can connect it to a personal account. Now, if I go ahead and click on connect personal account, you'll be directed to Instagram and then you can just authorize that connection and then all of your images will be pulled automatically to this element right here. So you don't have to add your images manually, you can just connect it directly. And then once you make a new post on Instagram, this will update here as well. Now closing this down and going down here, we have a social bar. So this again, you wanna make sure you link 
everything to your own social media. So we can go here to set social links. And then over here, you can see the link. So you want to make sure you update this link to either your own Facebook or if you want to add another social media. So what we can do is just change the link here and then click done. And then that would update the link to your Facebook. And then with Instagram, you would just click it right here, go in here and then change the link here to your Instagram as well. Now, if we wanted to add more social media sites, we can just click on add icons. This is going to pull up the icons that are available on Wix. And now let's say we wanted to add our TikTok. We can just search for TikTok and then we can see a bunch of variations of the TikTok logo. We want to make sure obviously that it looks similar to the ones we're using here. And you can even change it to another form of design. Maybe you want it to be more of a brownish color. You can go with that. Uh, but I'm going to go with the black one as it will fit what we already have here. So I'm just going to add that one to gallery. And then over here, you can see that we don't have a link at the moment. So we want to make sure we click here. And then again, we post our link to our TikTok over here. And once we are done with these settings, we can just go ahead and click done down here. And now, as you can see, we have updated the social bar and it also includes our TikTok account as well. We also have the shop my look section. So what you can do here is either change the image. So you would just click on it and then change image. And then I don't have any images on my site, but I'm going to go to Wix here and then I'm just going to search for fashion. Let's see what we get. So let's imagine this is me and then we can just choose that image. And then as you can see, it will update directly on the site. Same goes for the links that you have connected. So as you can see, this image here is linked. So when you hover or when you click this image, you'll, you'll go somewhere. So we can change that link if you want to by clicking over here on the linked one. And again, there's a link here. We can change it. Or if you want to link somewhere on our website, we can go to page and then we can choose which, which page we want to link this image to. So if you want people to go to the about us page, we can just select about us and then we can click on done. And now when people click here, they will just go to the about us page directly. Now, if you want to go ahead and change our blog post or add a new blog post to our page, because now we have made like some necessary changes. Obviously you want to make sure you go into your other pages on the website, which you can see up here in the corner if you click, this is going to be all the pages that you have on your site. So you want to make sure you update the about us section, add your own image here, add your own text over here, and then that's going to be done. And then the contact page again, there's not much to change on this one. So you don't really have to make that many changes, but you want to make sure you update all of your pages. So they follow the same design and the style that you want for your, for your site. But going over to our blog posts again, we are going to actually add our first blog post to the site. So what we're going to do is just go to posts. Again, we are back on the same page that we were. And if I click over here on the post element, which is going to be on the one side, we can click on manage posts. So I'm going to click here. Once you click there, you will load up the posts post editor and you can also find this through the Wix dashboard directly. You don't have to do it through the editor. Um, but this is going to give us all the options that we have for our blog. Now you can start with a template for your blog post, which is great. I'm actually going to use a template for this one, but what you can do, you can always just click on create a new post and then you will see the same thing right here. Uh, but what we're going to do is create a ultimate guide. So we're going to click on edit. Once we have clicked on edit, we will open up the blog post editor. So there's going to be a separate editor from the design editor of your website. So over here you have the title of your site. So you can just go ahead and change it. This is going to be, I don't know, Gustav SEO. What are you an expert on? And then as you can see, this template is already filled with a lot of examples of text, which we can just go ahead and change directly. So if I wanted to change this image here, what I would do is just click on it. You also have some other settings here as well, which you can change if you want the image to be on that side, or if you wanted to cover the middle, uh, you have some additional settings. Uh, but if I want to change this one, I can just click on replace image over here. This will once again pull up the uh, images of your website. And as you can see, I still don't have any images, but I'm going to show you a quick trick. So there's something called Canva. 
And on Canva, you can find the templates for either blog posts or YouTube thumbnails. It can be whatever you want. So it's, it's a very simple and easy to use tool, which is also free. And on here, if we go to design here, for example, you can see there's a bunch of different templates I can use and all of them are majority of them are free to use. So if you want to find something for your blog, I would definitely recommend you to use Canva. But on here, I can just make changes simply by writing whatever I want. And let's say I'm happy with this. I can just go to share. I'm going to go to download, download in PNG. I'm just going to download directly. And that file has just downloaded. So I'm going to go back to the Wix editor. I'm going to open up the Wix blog folder, which I have. And here's the image. I'll just drag it and drop it into, into Wix. And that will upload directly to your Wix site. So I'm happy with this image. I'm just going to add that to the page and it will update here. And as you can see, we now have a new picture here as well. Now you want to make sure you write your content here. It's going to be very straightforward. What you do is basically just write it out. And if you want to add a, a, a element to your blog post, you can always click the plus section here and then you can add an image, a gallery. You can add videos in here, GIFs. You can even add files, dividers, buttons, tables, poll. So if we wanted to add a poll here, for example, we can do a simple list. And then we can just add a question. What do you think? And then we can say, yes, no, this poll doesn't make any sense, but this is another way to kind of engage your audience. And again, we can change the design of this element. We can add um, color instead of an image. I think the image looks a bit old. Uh, so we can change the color here. And I'm just going to go with, let's say blue. Now you can also change the corner roundness and the answer roundness as well. So we'll make it look a bit more modern. And if you're happy with that, you can go ahead and click save. And as you can see, we have the poll ready to go and we can even move this around. So if we wanted to move this down over here, we can just move it again. We can move it down. So you can kind of move this wherever you want to as well. But I am going to remove this because I don't want it on my blog post because it looks fairly ugly. I'm going to keep it like this. Uh, but as you can see, all the settings are right here. You have all the settings up here at the top as well. So if I wanted to edit the style of this specific text, I can make it bold again, italic. I can make this specific text extra large. You have all the options right here in the blog editor. Now, once you are done writing your blog post, you also have some additional settings you want to make sure you edit before you post it. So if you go over to the settings over here, you can add a feature image. So this is the image that will be the main image of the blog post. I obviously want to use the same one as I already used over here. Uh, so I'm just going to update this, uh, update this one and just go to the same image again. So now that will be our featured image. You can change the publish date directly. So let's say this was posted on the 9th of August. I can change it. Writer, you can either select yourself or you can add a new writer. So you can just add someone here. Uh, I do recommend you to always add an author as it also helps with your SEO, which we can go into more detail in another video. I'm just going to add my name. Then you can add the title. So uh, I can just do like YouTuber. And then you can also add an image of yourself over here. Uh, I don't have one. So what we'll do is just uh, do a random person. So person, let's say that is me. Perfect. I'm just going to go ahead, add that to page. And as you see that that's basically how it's going to look like. And then you can also showcase the author on the page as you normally see on other blogs as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that directly to the site and that will be updated. Now you also have the advanced settings as well. So this is the excerpt. Uh, if you're showing an excerpt somewhere in your website design, like we changed on the homepage of the blog, you can also include an excerpt for each individual blog. So this is not mandatory. It's up to you and it depends if you're using this in your uh, design somewhere. So you can add just a short excerpt here of what this blog is about. 
You can also add related posts. So this is going to be the posts which are going to show up as related. So if you want to, you can add them here as well. And then you can also allow commenting on this post. And if you don't want comments, you can just click here to remove them. Now that's going to be it for the post settings in general. So we're going to jump over to SEO. This will just be a quick rundown. Um, what we want to make sure we do here is that we create a URL slug. Normally this is automatically generated for you. So you don't really have to change this. It will just be based on uh, your title over here. But in this case, we want to update it. So I will just do it exactly as the title. What are you an expert on? You don't include the question marks or anything. And if you, if you include question mark, it will tell you this is not valid. So you can just write text like this. You don't have to capitalize, just keep it. And uh, just like this, we have the title tag. So title tag is going to be the title, as you can see up here in your browser, you will see a title for each individual page. You can change it here. Um, this is also the title that will show up when you search something in Google. So if you want people to click on your blog, you want to make sure you have a title that stands out and want and makes people want to click on your blog post. Then moving down, we have the meta description. The meta description is basically just a excerpt again about what the blog is about. This is also the description that will show up when people are searching in Google. So here you want to just give a brief description of what this blog post is about and write something that incentivizes people to click on your blog. We're not going to jump into the advanced and social share over here. So we're just going to go down to the categories. So let's move on here. We don't have any categories on our, on our page or website yet, or our blog. So if we click on create category, we can just add a new one. We can name this social media as this is about social media and you can make how many categories as you want and you can add as many as you want, but I'm going to just add one social media. That's going to be the main category for this blog post. And then we can go over to tags. Tags is not going to be super important, but this will be used on your, on your website. So people can kind of figure out what your blogs are about and makes it easier to kind of search things. Uh, so again, I'm just going to add social media and then maybe in this blog post, I was also talking about Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube just like that. And then you can add as many as you want here. You can do max 30. Finally, we're going to go to monetize. You have the option to add subscriptions to your blog. Um, obviously we're not going to do that just yet. And I don't recommend you to charge people for your blog when you're just starting out, wait until you have a large enough audience, which is actually going to be worth it until that time. We're going to keep this off. Obviously you can also add uh, advertising on your blog and stuff like that. But in the beginning, I would recommend you to stay away from this. And if you want help with this in the future, I might make an up and coming uh, video on that as well. And finally, we have the translate option. And this basically means that you can make your, your blog into multilingual. Um, so you can have it in English, French, Spanish, Swedish, and so forth. So you can add as many languages as you want. And there's going to be a premium feature and it's going to be fairly hard to to manage all of the languages so I, I recommend you to start with one language once you're large enough or once you feel like it's worth expanding into more languages then you can go ahead and create uh, pages or versions in in different languages as well but i'm happy with this blog post i'm going to go ahead and click on publish once we click on publish, this will go live directly to the website. But now this blog post will be live directly on the site. And we haven't upgraded our account on Wix to a premium account. So we don't have a domain name yet, which means that we don't have a domain name like Gustav, uh, gustavseo.com. Instead, it's uh, gustav.seo.wixsite.com. Uh, which doesn't make your blog appear very professional. So you might want to look into upgrading as well. But if we go back to the editor and we go ahead and click on publish for the whole website, we can see all of the changes live on the site. And I'm going to click here on Wix site. But before I do that, I want to make one final change, which is updating the header of the website, which you can see is highlighted in orange when you hover over this. So this is going to be the header of your site. Now the header of your site will be the same 
across all pages. So if I make changes here, it will also make changes to the home page. The header will look the same across all of the pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make some quick changes to the header because I want to change the logo over here. So this is currently the logo, but if I wanted to add my own one, I can just go to add elements right here. I'm gonna go into images, upload images. And again, I'm going back into Canva. I created this quick logo over here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on download. We wanna make sure it is PNG and we have a transparent background. And again, there's a bunch of templates here as well on Wix or on Canva for different uh, logo designs. So if you want a logo design, which is very simple and easy to, to create, you can use Canva for that. We have again, our logo over here. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this in and that will upload the image directly to Wix. I'm gonna select the image, I'm gonna add it to the page. And then we just wanna make sure we make it slightly smaller so it actually fits. And now I realize this text is probably gonna look too small on this side. Uh, so we might wanna make another type of logo, but this will be fine for now. We're gonna keep that as it is. So once we are happy with our design, we're just gonna go ahead and click on publish. Now we're going back into the site, I'm gonna refresh. I think my logo will look terrible. Yes, it does. <laughs> Sorry, I probably wanted to create a different logo for this. Uh, but as you will see, we have our blog ready. So we have the title that we created. We have our first blog post that we added. So this, yes, you can see we have the title. We have the excerpt here, which we didn't add one. So we'll just create one automatically for you. We have who is written by and when it was posted. Going down again, we didn't make any changes, but here we would upload an image and change the text. Finally, down here, we have the Instagram as well. This would update if you just connect your Instagram, this will update automatically for you. So if we go into our blog post now, uh, we should have the blog as we wrote it. As you can see, we have the title and then we have the sidebar here and the changes that we made. But going down, we have the image, we have the text as we picked everything and then going back to the bottom we have the tags so social media facebook TikTok, instagram and youtube now what this allows people to do is that if you click here you would come to this page here and this page would only show pages which have or blog posts which have that specific tag so that kind of makes it easier for not only users but also search engines such as google to find your uh, blog post on your site and finally down here, we have turned off our comments for this post, but you can also allow them and that would allow people to create accounts and then also leave comments. Now that is gonna be it for the basics of getting started with Wix. Now finally, once you have finalized your design, worked more on it, because now you understand how to use the editor. Once you're ready to go live with your site, you wanna make sure you get a, a plan on Wix. So if we go into the editor again, we can see that right now we have 50% off uh, when we upgrade. So we're just gonna go over here to compare plans and I'll show you the differences between the packages and what package I recommend that you should get. And normally you're able to get 50% off pretty often. So make sure you look out for a 50% off deal as well. And we're just a blog, so we don't need anything super complicated. Uh, what I would recommend that you get is gonna be the light one. You really just need to go with the basic, uh, basic site. And the light package here will also include a free domain name for one year if you do get, uh, if you do pay for one year of Wix right away. Uh, you also have the 14 day money back guarantee as well. So, I mean, you can try it. And if you don't like Wix, you can just uh, cancel it directly. Uh, but usually what I go for is gonna be the light option or you can go with a core option as well as this is cheaper than the light option at the moment. But normally this would be the more expensive option. So I would recommend light, but if it's 50% it's off, obviously go with the core one as you get some more storage and you get some additional benefits as well. And you still have the free domain name so you can pick, I don't know, Alexandra, blogging.com or whatever it is so yeah if you want to go with the upgraded packages which i again i do recommend you to get a domain name and upgrade your package because otherwise you won't be able to get any traction to your site and it will be really really hard to get a active and and functioning blog without having a proper domain and a proper setup now the final thing i'm going to mention here is that when you do upgrade 
you will uh, get rid of the ads up here for Wix. So this will be all gone, which is currently ruining the overall feel of the site, obviously. So keep that in mind. You will also get rid of the ads of your site. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the channel if you want more content on Wix in general or just marketing in general. So make sure you are subscribed. With that being said, that's the end of this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.